All right, Shalom. Great Millstone Titus is true. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing this work. Like your house by Shimmy Shah commanded us to do. All right. Uh, so, uh, today would happen to be uh, September the 17th. September the 17th, 2023. This is the, the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass. And uh, we have had, a, a, we are having, should I say, uh, a very busy year, man, okay? You know, this year is uh, very busy. And uh, the water, you how about shoot me out a shot for that? Okay. And I was just thinking, you know, this one um uh uh what is this called? This is the Magic City Grill. I believe they didn't shut it down from what I see and I was like, damn, I'm gonna miss a lot of the um I'm gonna miss a lot of the uh, Jake's that usually go to this place here and it's shut down here right here uh, But damn when I was like as I was walking up I seen <laughs> I seen the so-called, you know black woman Over there with the eater mice and I was just like damn it's always the nigga woman No point intended To the uh, you know the elect Sisters out there The sisters that's trying you know to uh Keep be honest in this thing, man, as, as they possibly can, you know. Okay, so look. that's usually how it go, you know. Eve is always in the midst of something, you know. She's that's just what it is, you know. And, you know, with that being said, you know, we're going to see a lot of uh, situations, you know, go on and uh, Eve is going to be in the midst of a lot of it, okay? So, uh, let's get Matthew chapter 10 and uh Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16, it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So, you know, we got to kind of use our spiritual uh, discernment that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave us, you know, and uh, put it to work. You know, because, you know, it's going to be a lot of uh, women out there that's going to you know, turn brothers aside, or, you know, or, or, you know, give in to the system, you know, uh, but we have to use logic, spiritual logic, all right, uh, read it knowing it says, but uh, beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the council, and they will scourge you in their synagogue, okay, and, you know, um, uh, as I walk out, you know, to, you know, set up, you know, I seen about uh, two or three police cars, you know, you know that uh, temple over here, the, you know, this Catholic uh, uh, diocese uh, of Birmingham. Uh, they usually have them, uh, you know, a plane, uh, uh, so blue officer over there you know being a security guard basically 
but you know, in the midst of that, I seen about uh, two uh, Birmingham Police Department uh, officials or officers, should I say. You know, I see them from time to time, you know, but this is like back to back, so. So, you know, who's to say what, you know? But um, verse uh, 10, Matthew 10 and 9, uh, 17, no, 18. It says, and ye shall be brought before, the, before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So, uh, you know, uh, throughout the midst of everything that's been going on, you know, we've been seeing a lot of, uh, uh, well, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, you know, faulty, you know, situations going on, or, you know, uh, but and I'm pretty sure the brothers that's in this troop understand, and they've been seeing the exact same thing, you know, getting that, that, that spiritual intuition, you know, that, you know, some things about to, you know, take, take place, you know, all right, so, uh, that's why we got to be, uh, Harmless as doves, okay? The wise as serpents and harmless as doves, right? Okay? So, uh, read it on. It says, um, verse 19, it says, But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it, is, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. You know, uh, the things that's you know that's gonna take place you know we're gonna the spirit of the lord uh the recalcitrant is gonna take over verse 20 it says for it is not yet that speak for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of the father which speaketh in you see that spirit the recalcitrant that's gonna speak in within us man okay and uh i probably won't have this camera sitting here too much longer you know because it's starting to get hot you know to shut the you know the feed off all right so i read it on verse 21 it says and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child and the child shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death and you know uh through the spirit you know you've been seeing i know i have been seeing a lot of things that that's been you know off you know uh, people you know uh, ki uh, children have been you know in a di more dis uh, uh, disrespectful manner and really don't give a crap about you know who's taking care of them you know so they 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 be quick to deliver up their uh, uh you know, to be put to death, man. You see? That's the, uh, it was the, the Z generation. And you know, A to Z. Z is the end, basically, okay? I read it on, it says, um, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endured to the end shall be saved. And so who is that, that shall be uh, endure to the end. The elect, the elect shall be, shall endure to the end. All right. Um, verse twenty three. It says, "But when they prosecute you in the city, flee you into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man become the disciple." is not above his master, masters, nor the servant above his Lord. Okay, so the things that our, our power went through, the things that, you know, Yahweh Shai went through, okay, hey, it's possibly that we're gonna have to go through, uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna say the same era, but the same situation, but 
uh, it's, this is gonna be the time of test, man. Test time. Uh, back like in uh, the book, I think about when I say that, the book of Michael, or is it Malachi? Uh, I believe it's the book of, uh, let's see. Let's try, uh, I think that's Michael there. Let's, let's try Malachi, I believe it's in. Uh, all right. Yeah, the book of Malachi chapter three goes into that that, that test. And also, uh, it's a chapter in the book of uh, Revelation that goes through that same uh, uh, scenario, it's, you know. Uh, I'm gonna read uh, Malachi chapter three. Uh, let's start at verse 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before you, before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, when ye delight in, behold, he shall come, said the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. And that's the son of the uh, Almighty, man, Yahweh which is the uh, who you ignorantly call God and Yahweh Shah, who the, uh, uh, you know, the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shah, which that's another uh, uh, police officer that I just seen just roll by, but, but you know, hey, hey, it is what it is, man, you know. We gotta stand strong for this truth. And uh, as I was up, coming up here on the way, I listened to, uh, uh, what, the elder from Dallas, uh, uh, you know, and he was going into some of the, you know, the precepts of, uh, what was it? One of the subjects was going into a famine of the word, okay? And with the famine of the word, you know, they take, they're going to take the brothers off the street corners from preaching. You know, they, and, and you know, they, they setting it all up in the media with different accusations, you know, with this group of people and this group of people to forward their agenda, you see. And uh, it was beautiful how the brother brought it out, you know, it's, it's so obvious, you know. Uh, read it on. And it says, behold, he, he he shall come, said the Lord Yahweh, so, uh, of hosts. So our Lord is going to come back regardless what man thinks, okay? Whatever man uh, decides to conjure up in his, in, his, uh, in his mind, you know, the Lord is going to come back regardless, you know, and people, men on earth thinking they are a ruling by their uh, deception, but it's ultimately Yahweh Hashem uh, you know, putting them in a the, uh, trick bag, thinking, uh, you know, that they're 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 making these plans. But ultimately, it's the it's the Lord making his plans, making all plans. You know, things on the right hand and the left hand side, the good and the evil. The Lord is allowing these things to happen for His agenda. Okay, so man doesn't have uh, his own right to say so. The Lord makes the, the, these decisions. Okay, uh, read it on. It says, verse two. It says, "But who may abide in the day of His coming? And who's coming? Yahweh Shai's coming. Our Lord coming. Who shall abide in that day when the Lord comes, man? Okay." Hey, it's possibly the next year could be that 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 time, man. You know, just going off different prophecies, you know. But the ultimate prophecy, which all of them are, are beautiful, but the ultimate prophecy is the Lord coming back. And before He comes back, you know, uh, they're gonna implement this mark, man, this karagma. You know, that's gonna be linked in with the CBDC, the central, the, uh, the central, uh, the digital central digital bank currency okay where, where they're gonna you know do away with the dollar bill 
all right? And they're going to um, allow money to be digital. So they're going to be able to see pretty much everything that you do, all right? Everything, every move you make is going to be digitalized on a computer screen, okay? And um, it's going to be uh, to where you're going to have to access this digital dollar through your phone to begin with. Then ultimately, you know, this uh, digital dollar, dollar is going to have to be accessed through you as yourself as a, uh, the phone. It's going to be a digital implant, all right? That's the uh, Revelation 13 and 16, man. Okay? And, and, and people are lost to this situation, and, and you know, it's, it's just pure murder, you know, in the streets, you know? Everybody wants to have fun, you know, and, and not, uh, not seeing what actually going on in this earth, man. Okay? So once the Lord comes back, hey, he's going to set up his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, meaning it's going to be in righteousness, man. We ain't going to have no more, uh, 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 you know, poor Israelites, man. Okay? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, that's your true nationality. Okay? The Lord is allowing... Uh, the veil to be uncovered, you know, the veil to be uncovered by who? He putting the spirit on uh, men to come out and prophesy and tell the nations their 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 nationality, okay? And who's who? And the scriptures, man, like the scripture go into the Lord say He will. Uh, let's as a matter of fact, let's grab that's a, that's in the book of. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, where the Lord is going into how he didn't, uh, let's see, didn't destroy any of the uh, the nations, man. So all nations that were back in the ancient time are here today, man, okay? So that's why we so adamant when we say uh, uh, we are the Israelites, man. We are the true Israelites. We are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, man. Okay? When I say we, I'm talking about so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you can also have nations that look like the nations that they were scattered to that are Israelites, okay? Uh, matter of fact, let me hold with that. And go to the book of the Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and 16. It says, There is no end of all people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this is also vanity, is vanity and vexation of spirit. So the point is that the Lord said, there's no end of all people, okay? And if you go to the book of, uh, I believe us, in uh, the books, book of Exodus, it tells you how the Lord brings back that spirit every three to four generations, okay? This is one of them uh, in the book of Exodus chapter 34. And verse 7, it says, Keep mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgressions and sins. And who is that uh, iniquity and transgressions of sins are uh, uh, for the Israelites, man? Because, you know, the Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, those are the people who the law was actually given to. The law wasn't given to any other nation. Okay? It says, And that will by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children until the third and fourth generation. Okay? 
So the, 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 your spirit is put back on the earth, man. Every three to four generations, your body dies, but the Lord puts that spirit back on the earth every three to four generations, okay? Okay, so everybody's in their, their lot. Everybody's playing their lot, man. You see? Uh, let's see. What are we looking for? Back in Malachi chapter 3. Uh, let's bring this out the sun a little bit. Malachi chapter 3. We're back in and... Uh, Malachi chapter 3 and verse, uh, let's start it back at verse 2 again. It says, but who may abide in the day of his coming and who shall stand when he appeared? For he's like a refiner of fire and, a, and like full of soap. So the Lord is going to wash, you know, uh, the, the transgressions and the iniquity of the Israelites, man. Now, a lot of people always say that, hey, man, how can you guys be the Israelites? You know, because we in a we in, we in a, a downtrodden state, man. We 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 are uh, uh, the example of when you what you do when you go against your power, man. Okay. So once we're back in league or being brought back. To our uh, heavenly Father, man. Okay, we'll be untouchable through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashi Yahushua. We'll be in a righteous state. All right. So that's why you see uh, the majority of our people. They're poor. They're homeless. You know, they're drug dealers. They're gangster rappers. Everything that that's against what the Lord set up for us to be, man, and to do as a people. I mean, the punishment that the Lord has uh, done to us, hey, it's, it's evident, all right? No other nation is in the downtrodden state as you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. No other nation, man. Like the scripture goes into how uh, Israel, nothing has been done as it has been done into Israel. Uh, I believe that's in the book of Daniel. Let's see if we can grab that. Uh, so, and that's, you know, a uh, situation. The Lord has put the base man, you know, on, on top. Put the base man and rulership throughout the earth. The Lord gave the wicked you know, the rulership of the earth. Uh, let's see. I think it's Daniel. Uh, let's see. I think it's Daniel. I thought it was Daniel 12. Uh... Let's see, uh, let's see if we can look this up in this uh, phone here. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, the things that have been done to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, no other nation has gone through this, okay? I think it says no other other nation no other nation so like this phone is acting up uh has been done let's see it says nine, nine 
Let's start at verse 11. I was in, I was right here and looking right at it. But this is the book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse, uh, let's start at verse 11. It says, Yea, all Israel has transgressed thy law. That's showing you that the law was given to Israel, the Israelites, right? It says, um, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against them. See, the transgression of the law. The Lord uh, uh, made it to where we have to be in a downtrodden state, man. And in the book of Psalms, the Lord said, once he give us back the, the you know, the, the, the rulership of the earth, we're going to sing upon the, uh, the edges of our bed, you know, because why? We, we won't work. We're going to be kings, man. We're going to be gods again, you know. We're going to be gods over the earth in righteousness, man. We won't have brothers fighting against brothers. You know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans fighting among themselves. That won't happen anymore. All right? And the nation's gonna, gonna, gonna see us for what the Lord made us to be, man. You know, God to the earth. All right? Verse, uh, it says, Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. And he had confirmed his word, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as has been done unto Jerusalem. See? No other nation has suffered the way you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have suffered, man. But that's why? Because we broke the kept commandment against our power, man. See, when we're in league and we're doing the righteous thing concerning these scriptures, the Lord, hey, the Lord tells you, I believe in the, in the book of Judah, that uh, it's an example that, you know, no nation could take us down in that time. Okay? So let's see if we can grab that. Okay? Wait, we're making them go inside the church. Hey, it's true. It's a knife, man. Sharp as a knife. Okay, let's go to... Uh, is that the book of Judah? Okay. So when we in lead and we doing what we're, we 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 were built to do, you know, uh, the Lord make us untouchable. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's not. That's the book of Tobit. This is book of Judah, I believe. Uh. So this is uh this the, the back drop on this here is where the Lord had um uh the Israelites fighting with the nations, the different nations, man, and, and the nations knew that when we were on the same page or we were, you know, uh being obedient to the word of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, that no no other nation could touch us. Okay, so we're gonna start uh the chapter Judah chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, And whence that and whence they sinned not before their power or their God, they prospered because the, the the God that hated iniquity was with them. See, when we're not committing iniquity, you know, uh our power is with us, man. Yahweh, meaning he exists. Okay? He exists, and the Lord is going to make that known again, man. He's going to make that he's, he truly exists, because right now in, this, in, in the state of, uh, you know, uh, society, no one truly believes in the Heavenly Father. You know, it's all of a, 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 a invisible God that, you know, that's not, that's falling asleep, as they say. Okay? The Lord is going to make himself known through the power of Yahweh, man. Okay, it says, uh, let's read that again. Judah chapter uh, 5 and verse 17, it says, And whence thou sin not before their God or power, 
they prospered because the Most High that hated iniquity was with them. So when we're not committing iniquity, the Lord is with us, man. And that iniquity is sin, okay? Sin um, concerning the scriptures, okay? Not sin, con uh, you know, as far as man is concerned. Not his definition of sin, right? Verse 18, it says, But when they depart from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed, and many battles very sore. So when we depart from where the Lord has uh, set us up to do and be righteous, hey, man, we the, the Lord allow us to be, uh, uh, you know, slaughtered, man. Okay, as the scriptures uh, uh, read. It says, but when they depart from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captive into a land that was not there. Okay, and this is many captivities that we went under. Many captivities that the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans went into, man. Okay, it's 18 nations on the earth, and, and, and 17 of them we went into. All, and went into captivity under all nations, man. That's why in the book of uh, Daniel 9, it tell you no, no nation was done like the nation of Jerusalem, okay? Okay, so the land over in Israel belongs to us, man. Okay, it was given to us, but the Lord took that away from us, man, and put us in the land of captivity. And this is our last captivity as a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. Okay? The reason why I know that, let's go to uh, Second Edges through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, the Lord, uh, Second Edges chapter uh, 6 and verse, let's start at verse 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when Esau was born of him, and Esau is the so called white man. Okay? And that's the actual, that's the fight, man. Esau, so-called white man, and Jacob, the so-called black man. You know, you can't make this up, man. <laughs> but Jacob want to be so much like Esau, it's ridiculous, man. You know? Hey, 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 Jacob, he, he's blonde in his hair. You know, he even take the ways on Esau, man. You know? And a blonde, blonde hair is a, uh, is a, uh, it, you know, is, is, is defiled, you know, concerning the scriptures, man. All right? But, hey, you Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you blonde your hair like you, hey, like it's the thing to do, okay? But blonde hair is a, a deficiency, man, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh stole upon Esau, okay? So it says, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the so-called white man, which is ruling the earth. It says Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So the downfall of Esau of this world, which the so-called white man is Esau Edom. He's ruling the world. So Jacob is the uh, uh, the following of this downfall, man, of this kingdom, should I say? And you can tell, hey, this king, this kingdom is, uh, uh, you know, circling the drain. You know, look, hey, watch in a few, I say a year or so, this dollar bill is going to be to to put, man. The dollar bill. That's why you see everything is so expensive, man. You know, it's not that. You know that they putting the expenses on on the different items that we're buying. The expenses is that the dollar is losing its value, man. The dollar is about to crash, man. Which the elites want that to happen anyway. This is the plan of the new world order. They want the the dollar bill to crash so they can bring in the digital currency, the CBDC, man. And then once that, like we said before, through the spirit. That once the CBDC is pushed into place, you know, you're only going to be able to access that CBDC starting off with, with your, you know, your, your cell phone, your smartphone device. And then they're going to bring up some other uh, catastrophic event 
to where you won't be able to um, use your phone to access that digital currency. You know, it's going to be, you're going to be your phone. They're going to put that, that, that smartphone in you. You know, that, that electronic device. And that's the mark, man. That's Revelation 13 and 16 that the scriptures talk about. No man shall buy and sell. Say he had the mark, man. Okay? Hey, that's quickly approaching, man. So once that established a made mandatory, uh, ma once they mandate that, okay, and everything else is, is going to speed up. Everything is going to speed up from that time, man. You know, once they implement that mark, you know, hey, it's, hey it's, everything is down here. So then you're going to know there was a prophet standing amongst you, man. Okay? Yeah, man. Hey, these times are uh, it's getting beautiful. It's going to be ugly. <laughs> but the, the, the end result is going to be beautiful for the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right? Uh, yeah, so that's, that's the point. So uh, let's go back to the book of... Uh, uh, where were we at? Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Daniel 7 before we go back to uh, Malachi. This is Daniel 7. And you know what? Let's start at verse. Let's, you know what? That's Daniel 7 and 9. It says, I beheld till the thrones was cast down and the ancient of days did sit. Who garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like a fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. And this is going into, uh, uh, this is the description of who people ignorantly call God, man. So God is a so-called black man. That's his image. Okay? With white woolly hair. Okay? And a skin of bronze, man. A brass that looked like it was burned in the furnace. Okay? And that's the description of his son. You know, uh, it was, uh, I believe, I can't remember exactly how the story verbatimly goes, but, the, the, uh, which I, we, all, we can always get into it. We're not going to grab it, though. But me speaking, uh, not verbatim, but, Hey, the, the Lord tells you, uh, if the disciple asks our Lord, how does the Father look? He said, you've been with me all this time, you know, and this is how I look just like my Father. The image of who you ignorantly call God uh, uh, looks like has an image of a so-called black man. Okay? That's the true image of the power of the universe, man. Okay? It may seem far-fetched as we speak. But that revelation is going to be revealed to uh, throughout the whole earth. That's hey, that's how you're going to uh, know the Lord is going to have respect on his name, basically, once he uh, uh, start making these uh, different plagues come to pass or prophecies come to pass. Okay? The ultimate prophecy is our Lord, Yahweh Shai, coming back on the cloud, man, that the, all eyes shall see him, man. When everybody see the, the, the son of man come back on that cloud, which they call a, a UAP, okay? Where you want, uh, as Ed just went into that, where it was, he couldn't see one end of the earth, I mean, uh, one end of that uh, uh, so-called UFO to the end, okay? So when the Lord comes back as a so-called black man, hey, people, all, hey, all of the things that these Edomites have done a transgress or uh should i say o oppressed the so-called black hispanic and native american man you know they're gonna hey they're gonna be playing them national teeth man they're gonna think about all the things they've done you know to the so-called black man it's oppression and so on and so forth you know it's gonna be a hey, gonna be a hell of a sight 
uh, Daniel chapter, uh, what were we at? Chapter 7 and verse uh, 10. It says, A fiery stream issued and came forth from behold, uh, uh, Salaki, it says, from before him, thousand and thousand men unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. Okay, and that's going into these are uh, uh, ministering spirits that's ministering to our uh, our power, Yahweh, man. Okay, and that's what they do. They minister unto the Lord, man. Give give him reverence, man. Give him praise. Okay, call Allah you law. Yahweh, see me out with shot. Then your seven and twelve. It says, as concerning the rest of the beasts. They had their dominion taken away, yet their life were prolonged for a season and time. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man with the cloud of heaven, and came to the ancient of days, and they uh, brought him near before him. And the ancient of days is who they eagerly called God, man. He has no, no period of when he was, you know, here. The ancient of days, okay? That show you is the difference between to, between uh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, he's the beginning and the end. Okay. Uh, uh, verse fourteen it says, "And there was given him dominion and glory, a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him." And this is Yahweh Shai. The million was given to him. Okay, by Yahweh. Okay. It says his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna be an everlasting uh, a kingdom. You know, this is a this is that part of the movie. Well, the Lord is uh, 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 going to destroy this age that's in wickedness that the, that He has given uh, uh, the uh, dominion over the earth to. Okay, so the wicked right now is in rulership. So the the, the, the uh, dominion of the earth that we spoke about right here in uh, Daniel seven and fourteen is going to be a, a kingdom uh, that's going to be ruled in righteousness. Okay. With the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and rulership of the earth, man. Imagine that. Imagine the so-called black man telling you what to do. Okay? With a rod of iron. Okay? Hey, the, hey. right now it seems like a, a far-fetched thing. But guess what? It's going to come to pass. Uh, verse 15. I, Daniel, grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body and the vision of my head troubled. I came near unto one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me know the inter, uh, interception of things, interpretation of things. These great beasts, which are four, and four kings which shall arise out of the earth, okay? And hey, this is, and hey, these four beasts are, are kings, are nations, man, that's ruling right now, okay? Uh, verse 18, it says, But the saint of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever and ever, man. So who's the saints? Everybody can't be a saint. A saint is a nationality of people. Let's get there. In the book of Psalms 147, I believe. So, and that's, that's the, uh, uh, you know, the misunderstanding that these different churches have told us that, you know, to be a saint, you have to be able to go to church. But the Bible explains it much differently. Okay? Let's go to the book of Psalms and show you who the saints are, man. You know, Psalms 147, I believe. But, hey, uh, let's see. Yeah. 148, book of Psalms 148 and verse 14 it says 
Well, let's start at 13. It says, let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, for his name alone is excellence. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel. See, the Israelites are the true saints. You can't be made a saint. You know, you can't be made an Israelite. Okay, an Israelite is a nationality of people, man. And that nationality of people are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's your true nationality, okay? You're not a so-called Negro. You're not a so-called black man. You're not a so-called African-American, okay? Which African-American goes into uh, Leo Africanus. Uh, uh, and Leo's, uh, you know, uh, Skippy Africanus, which is African comes from which are white sellers, man, okay? So these things, man, hey, the so-called white man has all as lied as usual. That's what the so-called white man does, man. He's a liar and a thief and a murderer from the beginning, okay? So us, as so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man, we just here, you know, are serving out our punishment, okay? So when, when they say the Lord is coming back, he's coming back to, you know, uh, uh, to save the Israelites, not even the whole house of Israel. He's saving the elect of Israel, okay? The Lord has an elect that he's gonna save. All Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans won't be saved in this time. And, and, and salvation is not for all nations, man. You know, that's the biggest lie that's been told in the church, that you can be saved. All nations can be saved, okay? All nations will not be saved. Well, yes, they will. All nations will be saved for captivity under the Israelites. Okay? All nations will be saved. I'll say that again. All nations will be saved to be cap uh, uh, in captivity under the Israelites. So we're going to have slaves in the kingdom, man. You know? Like uh, uh, we were slaves, which we still are slaves, basically. Okay? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, even the so-called white man is a slave in his own kingdom, man. You know, in the kingdom that the Lord is going to set up for the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, we're not going to work, okay? We're going to have the nations, you know, to be our uh, servants, man. They're going to serve out uh, captivity, you know, all nations for a thousand years, and then there's only one nation that's going to be uh, rounded up and, and do, done away with, and that's the so-called white man, okay? Uh, let's go to uh, 2 Thessalonians, because, uh, hey, this is like a re re repetitive uh, uh, thing that, that we do, man. <laughs> and, and it make, only makes you better, you know? It only makes you better. All right. To show you uh, what this man is set up to be. Okay, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Let's start at verse 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, I mean chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by the letters from us as that that the day of a Mashiach is at hand. You know, this is that day that is at hand. Not saying it's gonna happen tomorrow, but it's soon to come, man. You know, the day of Yahweh by Shemi is soon to come. It says, uh, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for the day of the Lord shall not come, except there come a falling away first, that no man, that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And who is, this, who is the man of perdition? The so-called white man is the man of perdition, man. Okay? It's not by accident that this has, uh, you know, been uh, revealed to the Lord's prophets, okay? It's, it's evident 
it's evident that it, it, that this is actually what who it is. Okay. Verse four it says, "Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God." Hey, and that's the, the that's the mo of the so-called white man. Okay, all of the uh, the things that uh, inventions that he has so-called invented. Okay, he's he's he's, he's puffing himself up and pride himself as being a god. Uh, being uh, uh, the God, okay, that sit in the seat of God, but the Lord said He's gonna show him to be as only as a man, okay. Uh, actually, let's get that. That's Ezekiel twenty-eight. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter twenty-eight. Uh, let's start at verse three. It says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And who is wiser than Daniel? This is the, uh, the so-called white man said he's, uh, the Lord is uh, giving uh, uh, um, this revelation to Ezekiel to, you know, to prophesy that the so-called white man is more uh, wiser than Daniel. And Daniel, you know the history on him, he's a very smart man. Okay, it says he is smarter than Daniel, right? He's wiser than Daniel, should I say. There is no secret that they can hide from him, from thee. So you see all the, all, 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 uh, you know, the archists, all the all, 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 should I say, I'm, I'm tongue tied on that, but you know, the, the people that do the research, the scientists, you know, they, they do a, a diligent search. The archaeologists, that's the word I'm looking for, the Wadi al Bashim al Shah. So these are searches that these archaeologists, you know, they go into. You know, finding bones from so-called millions of years, and we know, you know, Esau, you know, he he, he bring out the truth, but uh, most most of the truth is lies. You know, he he have to bring out the truth because he know the you know to to you know filter it with a lie. Okay. Okay. So in order to bring out a lie, you have to know the truth. Okay. It says, Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten riches. And this is talking about the so-called white man. Okay? It says, And has gotten, gotten gold and silver and thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou hast increased thy riches. And thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Yeah. And, you know, that's why the so-called white man, he thinks that he's, you know, God. Because of thy riches that the Lord has allowed him to get. Hey, look at the Rockefellers, uh, uh, the, Roth, the Rothschild. They have this bank, man, full of gold that they've stolen. Okay? And they, they don't see uh, uh, no chance in... You know, uh, in earth that no one is going to be able to dethrone the so-called white man. Hey, that's the coming of Yahweh Shai, the coming of our Lord. He's going to dethrone the so-called white man out of rulership. You see? It says, uh, verse 6, Ezekiel 28, 6. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of God. See? He's talking about a man. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations. And, and who is that the Lord is going to bring against uh, the Edomites of, of Babylon the Great? Okay, his own his own brother. You know, the uh, Moab. I mean, Moab, uh, it's a lot, but Moab going to be one of them. Is the Moab, the Chinese, I meant... Uh, Gog and Magog. You know, he's gonna bring the terrible of the nations against them. You know, that's and it's nations. And nations meaning more than one. That's plural. So Moab, like I said, through the spirit, is, is one of the nations that are gonna come against uh, Esau Edom. 
Okay? And that was uh, Moab, uh, I mean, uh, Gog and Magog, they are Edomites also, which are the Russians. Okay? So uh, the Russians have a uh, um, uh, disdain against uh, America, man, which America in the scriptures is known as Babylon the Great. Okay? So. Russia has a, 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 a hatred to uh, the Western world, you know? All right, read it on. Let's read that again, Ezekiel 28 and 7. It says, Behold, therefore, I will bring nations, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their sword against the beauty of thy wisdom. And they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit. And thou shalt die the death of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet before him that slayed thee? I am, a, I am a power, but thou shalt be a man and no God. And in the hand of him that slayed thee. See? You know that hey, that's the uh, 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 the prideness of you know the American Edomite man. You know because America is pretty much known as that place of uh, great esteem. You know uh, uh, you, you know. But let's read. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter fifty. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, my, you know what? Jeremiah chapter 51 first. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and 1 it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon. The Lord said he will raise up against Babylon. Now, a lot of people get the misunderstanding that Babylon is talking about ancient Babylon. This is the modern, the scripture is talking about a modern day Babylon. The reason why you know, because Babylon was taken down by a, a surgical strike, you know? And this Babylon here, which is America, would be taken by fire, okay? So Babylon is the difference between a, a ancient Babylon and a modern day Babylon. America is known as that modern day Babylon that the Lord has disdain against, all right? As reads, it says, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them and raise up against me a destroying wind. And what is that destroying wind? That destroying wind is the uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay? If you ever seen a video of, of, a, of a destroying wind or an intercontinental ballistic missile plowing down, there's a, a, a forceful wind that comes and, and, and sweeps, you know, sweeps the earth. And anything it touches, all the elements burn or disintegrate, okay? It says there was a, a destroying wind, and I was sent unto Babylon fanners. And that, and, and that shall fan her and shall empty her land. And these fanners are, are, are the destruction, man out of the intercontinentalistic missiles, man. Okay, this is the future of Babylon the Great. Okay, Babylon the Great has a has a uh, has a future that's a uh, uh, total destruction coming. Okay, which you know you can uh, pretty much all always uh, uh, always in, in in history all nations that were going against the Lord, the Lord destroyed them. All nations that had, you know, that came up against a, a righteous way of living, the Lord destroyed uh, these nations. So what makes America or Babylon the Great any different? It doesn't make it any different, okay? Now really, America is really on borrowed time. <laughs> you know, they on borrowed time. Uh, all right, reading on. It says, I will send Babylon, I will send unto Babylon fanners, 
that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about and against him that bend it and let the archers bend uh, his bow and against him that uh, filleth himself up with uh, uh, brigadine and spare ye not for her young men destroy ye utterly all her law, all her host and now her host is that army okay because in the midst of this uh, uh, destruction World War 3 is going to be in the midst okay and, uh, and the valley of Jehoshaphat you know and, and that's a Hebrew word uh, uh, Yahweh Shapat is how you actually say it meaning Yahweh's judgment okay so the Lord is going to bring all nations together in, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the valley of Jehoshaphat and let them have that, that fight out, man. Where well, he's going to destroy all nations, man. Okay? And the nations that won't be destroyed will be going to captivity under the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, beginning with the elect. Okay? I can't say that enough. It's not all, it's not all Israel is not going to be saved, man. Okay? All you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans won't be saved. Only the elect of of, of those nations will be saved. Okay. All right. Uh, reading on. Jeremiah fifty-one and four. It says, "Thus the slain shall fall in the land of Chaldean, and they that are uh, uh, thrust through in her streets, for the, for Israel had not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power." And that's us, man. The Lord said he has not forsaken us. Okay? He has not forsaken us. Okay? Even though uh, uh, the Lord punished us, you know, with captivity, okay? And, and, and to being oppressed, all of this is, is, is part of the punishment, man. But like in the book of uh, uh, Lamentation 4, it says, our... Uh, our iniquity is accomplished. Okay? The accomplishment of our punishment is, is done, man. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 51 and uh, verse 6. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So when it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity, meaning that, that, that do not take part in what Babylon has uh, allowed us as a people to drink down that, uh, uh, that wine or that philosophy of America, man. Because America is going to get a lot of people put to death, you know, you know, because of, of their, the iniquity that they push, man. Just like the same way they pushing iniquities or they uh, allowing the nations to drink of their wine, okay? The wine of, uh, 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 of fornication, the wine of, uh, 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 you know, being a uh, LGBTQT, XYZ, okay? All of these are uh, 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 the iniquity that Babylon, which Babylon means, uh, the, the Hebrew word for Babylon is Babal, Bob, Bob, and it means confusion, okay? And this is the land of confusion, man, okay? Anytime you say a man can marry another man, or a woman can marry another woman, or you can marry a dog, or you can be with an a, a underage kid, and at one point in time, that was called uh, 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 statutory rape. But now they're allowing that to happen now. Even with a, 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 a younger uh, a kid, man, a baby, man. So tell me this place ain't ahead for judgment, man. Okay? The ultimate judge, man. And guess what? None of the uh, accounts or none of the charges 
but not gonna be trumped up. All charges is gonna be legit when it comes down to the uh, actual uh, uh, persecution of this place, man. Okay, the actual judgment of this place. All right, uh, Jeremiah 51 and verse uh, seven, it says Babylon had been a golden cup and Babylon is America. It said America has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, see? Drunken off what? Their philosophy, that wine, man. Okay? It says the nations have drunk of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay? Yeah, the nations are mad at uh, America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Why? Because, you know, America tells all the other nations, you know, different uh, things that they can't do, but America doesn't. Okay? It's just like having a big brother, you know, telling you you can't do something, but he's doing it. Okay? Just like, uh, for one uh, example, America is, uh, has tried to make uh, all of NATO not do business with uh, uh, Russia. But America is still doing business with Russia. You know, it, it, it's, they get the uh, uranium, 15, I believe 15 to 35%. I get the numbers mixed up. They're getting their uranium from uh, Russia, man. But now they tell you not to, uh, they tell these other nations not to buy or do business with America, man. I mean, uh, Russia. But eventually, all nations are not gonna do business with this place, man. Okay? The business they're gonna do with this place is gonna be 200,000, thousand missiles, man. Okay? That's gonna be the end of our be all. Okay? But the Lord allowed his elect to be uh, delivered, uh, ascending to those chariots. Okay? But back in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 8. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen. You know, so like verse 7. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and have made the earth drunken. The nations have drunk of her wine before, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is sudden fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain. If so, she would she may be healed. It said, if so. But it, it's not gonna be so, man, because I uh, the, the the you know the bomb. It's, it's not gonna actually, you know, heal Babylon. <laughs> this bomb is gonna, it's gonna be a B-O-M-V. <laughs> it's not gonna be a bomb that uh, cures or heals the sword, man. Okay? But it will actually cure, you know, to a point of, you know, that it's gonna be done away with. All right? It says, uh, so if so, she may be healed. It says we have healed, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. And uh, hey, tell me that doesn't sound like America, man. That America is Babylon the Great. You know, all nations are here doing business. Okay, with America. Okay, but let's believe when America allows these other nations to come in to do business with them, you know, it's, they, they're, uh, uh, not, they're not doing business for free, man, okay? There's always a plan, you know, uh, with America, man. And they're not just allowing different nations to come in and get paid off of them, all right? There's always a plan, you know, they're in the back room with a, 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 a plan that's gonna pay off, uh, um, you know, big time in their uh, favor. It says, uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let everyone, let us go, everyone to his own country. And, that, and that's uh, Isaiah 14 also. 
where the nations, you know, they gonna join into their own uh, people, man. Uh, it says, uh, it says Babylon is suddenly falling, falling. Oh, wait, wait, where we at? Verse nine, it said we would have, well, it said everyone go to his own country for her judgment breaches into the heaven and is lift, lifted up even to the skies. All the different atrocities are lifted up to the heavens, man. Okay. Now the Lord also says in the book of Job that uh, she has a time okay when uh the lord is gonna destroy her. it's job chapter 14 verse 5 it says seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee and thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass so the lord has a bound that uh that this society can't pass that the babylonians can't pass okay you know that's with any in, in anything that the Lord set sets a bound for, okay. And those bounds are for uh, uh, for for everything that the Lord made, man. Okay, we even have a bound to where our captivity is gonna be up. All right. So this this place has a bound to where its rulership is gonna be uh, up. Verse 10, it says, The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord Yahweh, our power. This is make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon. See, the Medes are Russians, man, are Russians, the Russia uh, uh, area, right? The Lord said he has raised up the Medes, man, to come against Babylon. Okay? All right, read it on. It says, uh, it says, for his devices against Babylon to destroy it. See? The Medes are going to destroy Babylon the Great, uh, along with the uh, uh, part of NATO and the EU. Uh, Hey, NATO is going to come against America, man. Okay? Because America, like we said through the spirit, America has allowed, uh, well, America uh, tells the NATO not to do business with other nations, but America does uh, business with the nations that they tell NATO not to deal with, among many other things, okay? Um, hey, the, the nations are mad at Babylon the Great, man. That's why Revelation 17 said uh, they shall burn her with fire, man. Okay? And then her is Babylon the Great, or the, or, or the virgin daughter of Babylon. You know, and it's called the virgin daughter of Babylon because America hasn't been touched, okay? In that sense of a war, okay? Or, or any aspect of uh, you know destruction, or uh, always been on top, you know. Hey, right, let's read this last few scriptures and we're gonna end it. Okay, it says uh, Jeremiah fifty-one and verse uh, yeah, back in eleven. It says. It says the king of me for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambush for the Lord, Yahweh, have both devised and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. Okay? And, uh, you know, with these different, uh, 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 what you call it, refugees out of uh, different countries, man. You know, we know America has a, uh, have insurgents in, uh, in this place, man, to, uh, you know, go against, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the people, man. You know, because we know America has, uh, 
You know, when America tried to uh, uh, set up martial law, okay, you know, the, the, the troops, they got troops here in America that's gonna uh, uh, set off martial law, okay? Because we know the American troops are not gonna fight against, you know, their, their family. So that's why you have UN troops here from other nations that don't give a crap about America. You know, so it's gonna be uh, an all out war in America, man, against UN troops. Hey man, that's gonna be a hey, one hell of a ride. Okay, that's why we come out and prophesy and tell the people or the nations, man, that, you know, prophecy through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Okay? Um, let's see. You know, you have uh, uh, certain people that's of the nation of Israel that don't believe, but the Lord tell you not to pray for them, man. And allow them to do, you know, uh, play, play, play their lot. Okay? Okay, so. Let's get this one last precept in. Uh, uh, this is Nahum chapter 3. Uh, let's start at first. That's started verse 4. It says, Because of the multitude of the whoredom of the world favorite harlot, the mystery of witchcrafts that set it, uh, uh, set, sell it nations through her whoredom and the families through their witchcraft, behold, I am against thee, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. And the kingdoms thy shame. So the Lord is going to allow these things to be uh, manifest. Verse 6. It says, And I will cast the abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile, and I will set thee as a gazing star. Okay? The Lord is going to allow uh, uh, Babylon the Great to be a gazing star, man. Okay? Remember, the Lord runs, this is the Lord's program and the lord's movie so what the lord says happen the lord makes the plays and, and hey and we do them all everybody every 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 being that's on this earth all right um verse seven it says and it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee there we go all nations gonna flee from a babylon the great Okay, uh, the nations they came to do business. Okay, they they gonna pack up and, and flee because that's why you see a lot of the uh, you know well these corner stores are owned by the Arabs now. They they gonna pack up and leave, man. It's, it's gonna be more closing of, of, of different uh, uh, storehouses, man. They gonna shut it down. Okay. Uh. It says, uh, and say Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bemoan her? When shall I say, when shall I seek comfort for thee? You know, and that's a cold word for America, man. Nineveh is. All right. But yeah, man. So we're going to end it there, man. And, uh, Right there, and give all praise and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, by Hashem, Rikak with us, call a lot, you lot, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, by Hashem, Rikak with us. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone titles is true. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing the work of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, by Hashem, Rikak with us. So let it be. Shalom.